next project presentation today, and it's our final project presentation, it's uh, on AI safety, which is a project that has just started. And Vanya, Fabio, and Jonathan, please. Yeah, um, lovely to be here. A privilege uh, to uh, be part of uh, the Sensible Stockholm Lab. Our project is about urban safety. Um, as you know, Stockholm is one of the most accessible cities in Europe, and accessible and sustainable, I would say. Yet, the city struggles with a number of social problems, and uh, of course, these events affect people's own perceptions of safety. Um, so, how can urban planning be transformed uh, to uh, attend Stockholm's current safety uh, challenges? First, we need to uh, realize that this, this city uh, environment uh, matters. Uh, it plays a role on, in, on safety. Uh, the way we build, monitor, and maintain the city uh, will affect how we move around, but also how we uh, perceive the city. Uh, the second factor is that um, traditional statistics alone uh, may, be, uh, may become poor uh, indicators of, of safety. And the, the methodologies that are, are out, out there, they tend to be too general, um, especially rigid and costly. And sometimes we may face problems with uh, ethical uh, problems. So the, the question is, uh, what are, what's the next step? The good news, I would say, is that AI, artificial intelligent uh, models, are becoming a key component in pattern detection. So in this study, we explore uh, pattern detection using a combination of, uh, of data sources, uh, including people's own um, perception of safety, to uh, produce an AI-created safety map of Stockholm. The question I want to answer is, what makes a city safe? and uh, which are the kinds of environments uh, that uh, make people declare that they feel safe or unsafe. These kinds of uh, uh, basic information can be crucial uh, for safety interventions now, but uh, more importantly, for the future, for new when we are building new residential areas. Um, so how are we going to do that, Fabio? So we, we have a three-step uh, methodology here. First, starting today, we are running a survey with residents in Stockholm from six different areas. So we divide the city in six different areas. And for each resident, we are showing a pair of images. And they need to say, OK, which image is safer? And with this information, uh, we are putting a creating a training data set. And we're putting there all the Google Street View images of the city of Stockholm. And running this artificial intelligence model, we're going to have a safety score perception, a safety perception score for all the street segments in Stockholm. And then comes the third part. With the safety score, then we are matching with socioeconomic data, but also demographics data. And with this combination of how people perceive the city, how this model can assess all the streets of Stockholm, and then with the social demographic data, we can understand the combination of perception with what happens in reality. And Jonathan, if yes. you could uh, explain how we're going to validate this. Yes, uh, so as Fabio has uh, described here, is how we will get an AI-generated uh, idea of how the safety perceptions will be linked to the built environment. But to compare this with uh, more reality, so to speak, we will uh, look at some uh, uh, direct indicators of the level of safety in Stockholm. And this includes police records, uh, looking at crime rates, for example, but also answers from a Stockholm safety survey. And these will um, uh, serve as a ground truth measure uh, to evaluate this uh, AI map results. And uh, co compared to police records, the survey will also uh, include um, additional information, such as the uh, citizen's victimization history, 
their worry of crime as well as their behavior linked to their perception of safety. For example, if there are certain areas in their neighborhood that they're avoiding and so on. Uh, however, what if there is certain sort of mismatches in the results of uh, these data sources? What if there are certain areas that have low crime rates, but according to the AI map and the survey, uh, have low perception of safety? So for this, we will uh, engage with urban planners and other stakeholders in the co-creation process to discuss uh, these kinds of uh, patterns and results. And yes, and this, these kinds of uh, results will be very important to, for city planners in Stockholm to consider, showing that different ways of planning and building a city uh, can influence uh, the perceived safety in different ways. And uh, the goal of this project is to uh, create a prototype of a long-term monitoring platform to um, uh, to <laughs> sorry to a long-term monitoring platform to uh, using AI that is rep reproducible, applicable for the entire city and engaging both citizens and uh, stakeholders. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vanya, Fabio, and Jonathan. Uh, we're looking forward to this project result as well.